What's up, everybody? We are back at the solo shack. Brought the stove. Gonna make a bed. Gonna put a door on this. And we're gonna do an overnighter. All right. Gonna clear this whole area out. Get all this thrown out. Gonna put the stove in that corner and vent it out. Filming with the GoPro because it's. I don't have the right lens yet to film with the DSLR. This close range, everything would be kind of out of whack. So, I'm gonna clean this up. I brought some extra plastic. I kind of want to put like a little tarp out here so be able to sit out here as well. I think that'd be pretty cool. This uh, has been snowing, icy, all that good stuff. Supposed to get some snow possibly tonight. We'll see how that plays out. Now I was kind of thinking something. My bed's probably going to come out to here. About right in here. That's not going to be very much room for a stove. It's not going to be very much room at all. Hmm. But I'm going to throw a bed along here. If I put a fire there, put a black backer, kick fire, kick the heat this way, it might absorb in through here. I'm still going to try it in here. I do not recommend that. My bed's going to be, what I need to do is open this up, actually, make that a little wider. Or, yeah, make it wider that way. And that would probably uh, solve that problem. But with the time being, and I've got mm, hey, four or five hours of daylight, I need to chop wood for the night, make a bed, make a door. The door is going to be my last priority. Because if anything, I'll just hang up a piece of plastic over this. But yeah, let's go get some logs to make a door or bed. Four logs. I'm gonna use this as my measuring stick. I'm gonna cut this one off here first. I can use that for firewood. idea Do the same thing on this end. I brought uh, some nails. I'm gonna nail uh, a log across the top. That's gonna be the bed. Definitely should have went a little better, bigger. This is gonna be a sweat shack more than anything. I'm thinking with as small as this is, but there's it's not completely airtight, so the air's gonna get in and out when it, where it wants to. So, that's what we're going to do. Like I said, I brought nails. I'm going to tack it into the top. And I'm going to layer sticks across that like so. I'm going to have a nice couch slash bed. Essentially, food time. Maybe. Definitely going to go bigger on the next fort. I build. For sure. Nails. 
had saved for ages. I throw nothing away. Save everything from every job that I do that I could save. If I could save something, I'm saving it. Coming along. Got a few more of these to get across here. I'm just using the length of my saw as my tape measure. It's not too bad. It is letting through a little moisture through there. The only thing I'm worried about my sleeping bag rubbing against that getting wet. <clears throat> but it's coming along. I'm really interested in seeing a uh, Once fire's lit in this bad boy, how are everything's gonna go? Leaning tower of flaming pizza, maybe? I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna clean up the front yard. Clean up the front yard a little bit. Fine. Rattling you guys all the crap, isn't it? Sorry about the rattle. You're on the saddle now, guys. Pretty nicely, I would say. All these extra pieces, these top ones, I'm going to use for the sides. I started to do it there, and just been picking up. Uh, I did that most on that side. So when I came in here, there was somebody along the river, and along these rivers, this river area. In my neck of the woods, there's a lot of homeless. I'm still even surprised this thing's still standing because I figured somebody would have ravaged it, took the plastic, or went and built their own for it or something. But lucked out, it's still going. Um, but I mean, uh, I'll show you the other side. Uh, now you're just rambling, guy. Get your thoughts together, stay calm, collective figure it out anyway find the side of sticks grab debris throw it on there camouflage ah, sometimes my mind just goes a million miles a minute I can't be the only one that does that hey how's it going welcome MTV Cribs the Outdoors McGee style Boom. MTV bed <laughs> crib whatever anyway boom <sighs> have yet to try it see what happens I only nailed down <sighs> oh yeah we're golden I only nailed down uh, most of the outside ones and a few in the middle nice nice I think 
It's gonna be just nice cozy. Cozy, cozy, cozy. Bet you wish you had one of them beds, huh? Contact me, I'll build you one, alrighty. Throwing sticks randomly everywhere. So when I kick. So when I throw the grease up there, it sticks nowhere. <laughs> Some spots need a little TLC. But it's really gonna help. Guys, I need to keep whacking the things. If you can find vines, they work pretty good to throw in the open areas. Yeah, to collect what crap. Takes a lot of kicking, kicking around and gathering. But we're, we're gonna try to get her at least somewhat covered. Okay. Walking up now, you can't see it at all. Except for the door area. All right, so that piece of plastic, stuck it up there. So you have to climb in like so. It's a lot darker in here now. But, that is that. Easier to, uh, definitely a lot harder to see now. So that is a plus. If I just had a camouflage door, I had a piece of camo plastic, a uh, camo tarp. It'd be easier to cover, but I kind of, what I want to do, I want to bring out like a little front porch area. I did grab some more plastic. What do you think, should I do it? I think it'd be cool. I think I should do it. Just run some sticks off of that one. We'll see. We'll see what the what the knife brings, huh? Okay. All right. Now that I got my block in, in place, I need to gather up as much firewood as I can for the night. Only got three hours of daylight left, so I'm gonna gather up what I can. Beautiful. All right, now the question is, is this gonna get too hot and melt the plastic? <sighs> First time ever testing this thing out in the field, especially in a shack. <laughs> oh man, we'll grab my, grab my gear and get out if shit goes up. <laughs> so, I'm gonna assemble this. I'm gonna feed it through here up and out and hopefully hopefully it'll be all right actually I might need that to go out but Definitely gonna have to get that plastic off of it. Uh, 
I'm going to point this down. Point it down just in case because it's going to snow probably. Yeah. Hopefully that'll be alright. Alright, so I put, as you can tell, three soppy wet logs around that to try to keep that plastic away. Hopefully it doesn't get that hot or that burns. Or maybe it's just gonna catch fire there and it's just gonna go. <sighs> Hope not. Check it out. Brought myself a nice little treat. Whoa, I lost it. Well, gathering firewood. Starting a little pile down there. Some bigger chunks out here that need to be split. The behind the scene things that you don't see, or once you start cutting through bigger logs like that, I'm starting to figure out, keep everything about as, as wide as your fist. Cutting through that makes life a little easier instead of sitting there burning through your arm going through the bigger logs. Pull that sucker out your mouth, buddy. I can't hear what the hell you're saying. Anyway, yeah, do that. I'm just cooking, cooking. This is dangerous. I'm gonna re-angle this. Notice how I always say I'm gonna not do something and I do it right after. Pretty sweet. Brought a steak. Why does a steak always seem like the go-to for the outdoors guys? Why don't why don't we switch it up? Like some goat testicles or something. I ain't gonna be the one to do it, but maybe you should. We're gonna work on this little like front porch area. Sun's going down too quick. I want to get as much firewood gathered up because it's supposed to snow. It's supposed to get down below freezing and be really cold. So I want to get as much wood as possible, keep me warm through the night. Plus, I want to cook some. I want some extra lumber because I'm gonna be cooking here soon. Hungry, starving. This is definitely a lot slower process than the bag. This comes with the bag too, but I didn't want to lean down and try to gather water out of here. For some reason, I just got the crazy. Picture the shark lunging out of the water at me. Ah, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to look at the freaking water. Now I'm messing up. I'm not keeping that freaking water. All because you got a phobia of sharks in the winter in a river? Really? take off with it anyway all right well fire is established 
but super super smoky in there even with the door closed a bit I'm gonna have to uh, figure a little something out so it's not too bad in here it's actually putting off a good amount of heat with the door being just as is it's absolutely amazing actually I just don't want anything popping getting on the floor and yes I didn't clear the floor out that great I got a burn pile here I'm gonna clean it up now but I uh, also brought a bunch of dryer lint just in case got my wood pile going started I'm just freaking hungry god that feels nice though He is coming along. It fits fairly decent, fairly decent sized uh, logs. I'm gonna leave it at that for now and Chops, chop some more. Cause this is not gonna get me through the night. The top's already hot enough that I can cook on. I got, like I said, steak. I got uh, instant mashed potatoes, Idaho potatoes, and um, like some noodles. I'm gonna mix the noodles and the uh, Idaho one together, and then have some steak with it. So that ought to be quite lovely. Tugboat tugging. Freak me out. I thought for some reason I thought uh somebody called on the smoke for my fire. I thought somebody's mobbing through the floors on a four-wheeler or something. I don't know. Had me freaked out. I go out and there's a goddamn boat. <laughs> anyway, some of the plastic around the the vent piece started to melt a little. Kind of watching that. You can still hear it. Of course, you can hear it. But you see the pipe change colors you get super hot. It uh. It's only rated for 90 degrees. It's a work in progress. And I mean, could have got the, they make double walled venting stuff for fires. But so far so good. See some of the metal casing uh, melting off there. I wonder how these screws are going to hold up. I mean, they're not fire rated screws or anything. We'll see. It's going to get the ultimate test tonight. That's for sure. But I'm going to start. Get to, get to cooking. I want some food. We got chicken flavored broccoli. I'd hold potatoes. Got some ramen, some other stuff. If need be. Not a fancy cook kit or anything at all. There's just some stainless steel pots that do the job, so that's why I, I enjoy them. We got some uh, extra virgin olive oil to be my, I guess, butter replacement. 
Whoa, splashed it everywhere. What a silly guy. Steak is on. that you split that fits perfect together then you could squeeze it perfectly I burnt my finger on the door <laughs> oh man I'm gonna try to pull this out Good idea though, I really like that. Alright. Actually, I'm gonna keep those. So, what do you think? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. The, uh, this stuff, it's cool by now. It cooked fast. Really freaking fast. Guess what? Brought some A1. What, mom? He brought A1 to the woods. No way, he's like eating really good out there. Yeah, I'm not a savage, man. Is it down? I had a lantern. A lantern that I was going to bring. Never used. It's a kerosene lantern. I was kind of worried about bring a kerosene lantern and trying that out for the first time I didn't want to be sleeping with a grenade I guess I could have kept it wet because I didn't know how this was going to play out so far so good I was staying down, even with the door open. It's like 10 degrees warmer right here. It's, that's what it feels like in my house. It's doing a good job. And it's not burning up a, a lot of, it's not taking a lot of lumber to uh, keep it warm in here either. I'm gonna eat this, stir that, eat that. Probably chop more wood. Maybe even work on that top. I still might work on the top because I want to put a fire out there. Maybe. I'm gonna bite out more than I could chew the first night. It's coming along though. <laughs> the outside, I just threw a bunch of debris on there just to somewhat disguise it. If this was my personal property, or anything and I knew this structure wasn't just gonna get beat to crap by somebody one of these days it will come spring somebody's gonna tear this apart or ruin it or just do something once I get my own property then I'm gonna make a beautiful fort because then I won't have to worry about him but destroying it and that's when you want to put the time into it in my eyes, anyway. I guess I just don't want to waste my effort just to see it get destroyed. Anyway, chow time. Well, just got a call that my daughter's not feeling so well. Super pale and 
throwing up. She has to go to the doctor. I gotta abandon this mission. I gotta pack up my gear and I gotta get. Because family comes first, ultimately. That sucks. I hate coming out on these and then finding out stuff like that. It makes me feel like, is she... Is she heartbroken because daddy's not there? Is that why she's sick? I hope not. But there's the update there. The steak was good. Mashed potatoes were good. I'm going to pull out sleeping bag and stuff now. Oh, yeah, check these out. I found some turkey feathers. So that's pretty cool. i got to organize my mess here. This is just... Too much of a mess for this little area. Too much. Trying to let some air get to the top of this. Some of these still seem a little wet. I don't want to throw my bag on that yet. I'm trying to let it dry out a bit. There's nothing really I can do now. It's only... Um, I got my headlamp on too. Probably blinding the heck out of you guys. It's only 540. Pitch dark. I could burn headlamp light and try to work on the front porch. I might do that, but it's dropping temperature. I'm going to have to check the weather here soon to see when exactly, because it's supposed to rain and then possible snow. So, change of plans. That piece of plastic I brought, that back wall is putting off a lot of condensation. And I don't want my sleeping bag. I don't want to be getting wet while I'm sleeping, rubbing against that. So I'm going to run with that for tonight. And then future, I'll be able to throw that as a front porch. So yeah, that's sweet. You're going to be dry tonight. Way to go, man. You're just using your noggin. Let my feet dry out by the for a bit. I still got this thing on bed. Yeah, it's rain. Here comes the rain. Make sure I got my saw. Yeah, it's raining. I can see it on the door. I mean, I guess I didn't really have to, uh, throw all the debris around it and stuff, but you want to stay camouflaged, huh? This stove, though, man. I'm freaking proud of it. It's doing its job. It's freaking late. Freaking neat. Awesome. You guys see my feet steaming? <laughs> Toasty. Drying up all the moisture. Oh, feels nice. That feels lovely. I did bring a pair of an extra pair of socks. I always bring an extra pair of socks now. Because your feet in muck boots, since they cannot breathe, they will sweat. And then your feet get cold after that. Well, it's a good thing I did bring this extra plastic because water was dripping down onto my sleeping bag. That's not cool. So I bashed a little stick through there. It's dripping, it's condensation, it's not running down. It's condensation, like right here. From it being so warm in here. That might be a bit of a problem. Whoops. Find out, I'm gonna have to bring that up a little bit see 
So I can't be having that wet. I'm not gonna sleep wet. Uh-uh. I refuse. You know what's really cool? I just realized that uh, this backpack don't have a rain fly. I got my DSLR in there taking pictures and so that's cool. That's a plus. And it's not it's supposed to rain from here on out till tomorrow night. Should have did a little better job at uh, paying attention to the weather. And I think I am gonna have to do is uh, pack all my gear up in the morning. Uh, leave it sit here because I had to park outside the boundaries somewhere where my car will not be towed a little over a, about a mile about a mile from here um, probably have to leave all my gear here drive to a closer spot then come in and grab my gear and then have to head out I think that's how I'm going to have to do that one Another cool part is, uh, look at that log up there. It was smoking, starting to catch fire. So that's pretty scary. Hear the rain now. You see it on the tarp. What do you do, man? You just sit out there and you enjoy it. You know, you just smile. Take a good whiff of frick cold, fresh air. Winter time, but day. Woo! In the solo shack. Good old time. Laying down, having a snack. Seems to be rather smoky in here now. So well, that's cool. Might have to open that door a little bit a bit. Let me eat the snack. This rain ain't letting up. It's actually getting worse now. I was gonna go down the uh, the water. I'm about out of water. Got a little left, a couple ounces. So it's only getting better. Woo! Well, you guys see me or not? I think I'm gonna pass out. Lay down, try to get some shut eye. Wake up periodically and stoke this fire. If all goes well. I'll sleep through the night. If not, it's because this bad boy's on fire. <laughs> Shouldn't be. I think we'll be alright. I think it would have gone up by now if it wanted to. But we'll find out, won't we? Sweet dreams. It's one o'clock. I almost lost my fire. <laughs> got a, got a, uh, there's little coals and stuff at the very bottom. Got it going again, so. Rain's picking up again. It has really got down to chilly. Without this stove, this would have been a, I mean, this bag's doing a real good job, but this stove is nice. It's really uh, keeping things nice and tolerable. But I'll try to get some more shut eye. Freaking freezing cold. The front door blew open. Oh, it's gonna blow off again here soon. Bags getting soaked. Not cool. It's not cool at all. It's 
sleeping bag and getting splashed on. That's not cool. It's condensation. Man. That sucks. The jackets. Wet sleeping bags. Ah. Oh. It's. Ah. Oh. Like 6.30 in the morning. I think I'm going to have to roll everything up and out or the wind's getting so crazy the way I did this fort that post is living that tree is living that one in that corner and then this one here when the wind comes whipping through like right now the whole <laughs> the whole fort uh, moves flexes I'm not worried about going anywhere actually it's really freaking windy. I'm on my last bit of firewood. Plus everything's starting to get freaking wet. So that's frustrating. It's just condensation. It's not... I don't know where the heck. I mean, look at that. That's not cool. Man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to roll everything up and maybe wait another half hour or so to head out of here. It's gonna suck stomping through this storm. I may just have to leave my... I'm going to pack up my gear and then... Uh, leave it here and have to come back through it. But a closer point. My pants ain't really all that wet. I'm going to bummer out by my sleeping bag. I don't can't wash these you just gotta let them air dry but still don't like it getting wet stove's done a great job doesn't burn up instantly not constantly stocking it made it through the night with that little bit of lumber I had so that's pretty good with some to spare did pretty dang good Kept my top core completely warm. The sleep bag kept my feet and my legs completely warm. <coughs> you know, pick my bag is. <coughs> Excuse me. Thing barely fits in there. It's a negative 20 degree bag. Because it's winter, I want it to stay warm. As yeah, does anybody out here. I'm going to jump on it and get it in there. Make sure the rest of the pack's empty. Otherwise, it's real tough to stuff. Tough to stuff. It is just miserable out here now. <laughs> I'm debating on whether or not taking you guys with me back to the car. I have the waterproof case for that. You ain't gonna hear anything, but <laughs> stuff scratching against that, or not really raindrops or anything. So I think I'll probably just leave you here and then come back for you and then update once we get back in the car. See how wet I am. Tuck my phone deep in my pocket. Hopefully it doesn't get wet there. Maybe I should leave that here. Nah, I better bring it this case of emergency. Maybe walking through. This is 
it's windy, it's dark, maybe a tree can come crashing down on me. Hope not. That's not going to be too fun. Well, how will I know? Probably won't survive that. My last bit of water. All in all, though, the fort held up pretty well. If I would have made it a little bigger, I wouldn't have had to worry about my condensation getting on my sleeping bag or anything there. But, not a bad little solo shack. A couple layers, I think. And this is just the thinnest plastic stuff you can get. Like, this is thicker that I saved off the job site. That's just some really thin stuff. I wonder if a few layers <coughs> would be the trick to keep the condensation off. Well, all right, guys, I'm gonna hit the road. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a parka out of this. I'm just gonna put a head hole and my head can slide through, so hopefully I could stay mostly dry. Fold it in half, find a spot for a head hole. I should be able to squeeze my fat head through there. Beautiful! <laughs> knock knock. Knock knock. Honey, I'm home. Hello, fellas, ladies, and gentlemen. I have returned. I am sopping wet. And my uh, poncho didn't do anything. I was still completely soaked under it. So that, that worked out pretty good. But. Let's get you guys to safety, huh? We'll throw you in a wet suit and get on going. Alright, guys. Say goodbye, Never Never Land. If I can get out the door. There goes the door. Oopsie. It was raining a little harder than this on the way out of here. Getting back to the car. Just so you get a little experience. Probably can't tell that it's raining any good on your end, but completely soaked. Well, guys, almost back to the car. It's been a fun, warm. So I had to walk in the rain. Nice little overnight adventure. So, get out there, explore, do some wild stuff. It's fun. Hey, if you get bored and it's raining, put a poncho on. Go, go walk in the rain. It's not that bad. But, uh, make every day great exploring Earth, guys. Catch you on the next one. Whee!